Michael Kelly in goals, back four probably, uh, Daniel Blackburn, Connor Keeley, Paul Fox and Kevin Knight. Midfield you have Keith Dalton, Zach O'Neill, Vilius Lagutas, Kieran Martin Waters, maybe Mitchell Byrne uh, behind the same balance as well. But all Kieran Martin Waters can be occupy that role in front of Barnes. Yeah, there's, plenty, Barnes there's, there's plenty of what you describe as utility players in that team, Tony. They can play in different positions. As we know, Cap and Teeley, they're an ultra organised side. They're a very hard team to break down. But the drizzle just starting to come down again here. It's a brilliant night all of a sudden for football. When we arrived at the ground a little bit earlier on, it was torrential conditions and we thought this game might be a bit of a slog but as I said it's an absolute carpet they've got in front of them here at Bishop's Gate tonight and with that little bit of drizzle coming down now it's perfect conditions for football this should be a brilliant game it's huge for Brave Air for Cabin Tealy and of course that would be extra firepower maybe that yeah, he's, he's come in from Sunderland's under 23 setup. He played a couple of games uh, for, for their 18s and then their 23s, and, and a couple of games in Premier League 2, which would be a very high lining up against his old side here. And Kevin Knight, a not a former long time player, uh, lining up for the opposition. We have. And it's a straightforward in the end, and it was whipped in by Keith Dalton and comfortably dealt with by Joe Manny De Lattes. And McNally, and McNally will feed it back to Kyle Chambers, and Chambers whips that all in towards Manly but good goalkeeping by Michael Kelly and worthy about 15 years inside his own box and he's nearly dispossessed by Zach O'Neill who plays that straight to the right of course to have Manly inside the box he plays it across McNally and that's brilliant defending there by uh, Blackburn the right back saving Cabantini from conceding that goal. I think this for Longford will be taken by Grimes, it's whipped in towards the middle and there was Rob Manley, what a start he's having, he's done everything but find the net so far Tony. Yeah, he uh, ran across, uh, left his marker and then uh, he got this header to the ball but he couldn't lose it, this is hitting Longford player, he wins the throw, plays it to Martin Waters down the left flank, he turns and plays it in towards Dalton, it's over Dalton, Chambers chests it down and comes back out to Zach and Zach O'Neill has scored a goal for Cabantini and Cabantini take the lead here with about half, well, 35 minutes of the contest gone and that was poor defending, Carroll Chambers chesting it down, he, chested, he got too much purchase on the chest, couldn't control it, comes out to the midfielder Zach O'Neill and he calmly strokes home a crisp Low drive from about 14 yards out, 1 0 to the visitors. Yeah, Stacey launches that, and it's a foul there for Longford Town winning the free kick. And it's uh, once again, Rob Manley. how many free kicks is Rob Manley right now? And it's won by the head of Joe Manley, but it comes back. And she bounces in, and she bounces shoots! Oh, oh, hits the woodwork! Shane Barnes with a chance to score a sixth goal. He's about 15 yards out from goal. It bounces up. He gets his laces through the ball. Stacey beat, but comes back off the woodwork. It's the penalty spot. And indeed, back close. It comes to Morris oh. McDonald and Mick McDonald close, but comes back out to see uh, the ball is blocked and Kevin Tilly will clear for the account of Kieran Martin Waters. He's too long for time play. Holds the ball up well. Plays it through to Shane Barnes. Shane Barnes for the ball. Back to Kieran Martin Waters. Kieran Martin Waters gets better and Mandy 2 now. And Kevin Tilly goes two goals to nil up. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant play from start to finish when he got the ball by Kieran Martin Waters. Holds the ball up brilliantly. Draws a couple of long for time players out. Plays it to Shane Barnes. Shane Barnes plays it back to to Kieran Martin Waters, he gets the better of Joe Manley, and what a cool finish, uh, a diagonal low shot, past the dive of Stacey, into the back of the net, and Cabin Tilly, very impressively, go 2-0 up. Manley would have played him on, so fortunately it didn't go through to him. Sam Vernon is a huge to a foul, Daniel Blackburn, and that's a, I think he's going to get himself a yellow for a little lip to the referee, I think the referee's accused him of jumping into the back, yeah. uh, And Kevin Knight again. Oh, and Longford have totally switched off here. Keith Dalton whips it in. Marty Warris got ahead on it. That was almost a disaster for Longford. Totally switched off. Look. Dalton launches that in. And Shane Barnes, it just bounces over his foot as he slides in. And there, Kevin Tilly, who will get us underway in the second half. With Longford Town training by two goals to nil. And it's Barnes who gets us underway. Let's launch the ball to run to on the left hand side. Sam Burden makes a run to the box and he gets there, but it just takes a ricochet out for another corner and that could have been Zach O'Neill, the centre midfielder in there helping out with his defence. Yeah. He's got Barnes ahead of him, can he find Barnes? He aims it towards the striker, Joe Manley with the header and it falls to Barnes again. Back here, clever back in, Keith Dalton in for Cabantini, big save by Stacey, back 
back to Barnes, he tries to side foot into the net, but it goes wide of the goal. That was almost 3 0. Again, having Tilly catching Longford on the break to get forward more in this second half, but he gives away a cheap ball and then he doesn't track back. And that left space for Barnes, and only for that block, Barnes could have had a goal, but uh, not great play for him. Couple of changes here Sam Burton going off the field, Callum Warfield is going to be coming on to assist uh, Manley up front, and uh, McNally is the other player to go off. And it looks like Aaron McKay perhaps is uh, the man coming on here. He got the winner up in Eamon DC Park on Friday night. Yeah, it is uh, Aaron McNally who's been off in the course. McKay, then. Whether they can use that as, a, as an effective tool. It's in towards Manley, turns towards goal. He's got one thought in his mind, that's the shoot, but it's over the bar from Manley. And again, encouraging 22 yards. Uh, he just seemed to slip when he, when he shot there on the ball. Need to make something happen here. Ball into the area, it's towards Barnes. What a tackle that was from Elworthy. It's still alive here, eh, Durgan? And, and that Fox. was Fox, Fox. cleared away by Manley. Ball again with Joe Manley. And uh, Joe Manley plays inside to Grimes. Grimes feeds it through to McKay, who whips it across the box and Connick. He's looking for support, he plays it across to Joe Manley. And just right of centre, he's 30 yards out. Launches the ball! It's the crossbar! What an effort from Joe Manley, the centre half, 30 yards out, rising shot, sail past the vainful dive of Nick Kelly and uh, came cracking, crashing back off the crossbar. Crack. Right wing, and Dalton gets by one challenge and whips that ball in, but uh, Lee Stacey pounds it away and he crosses Karen Martin Waters is it in the back and it's a penalty to Cabin Tealy. And poor goalkeeping, he, he tried to palm him away, didn't get enough purchase, comes to Kieran Marshall Waters, and a push in the back, definite penalty. This goes in, it's a game over, and Kevin Knight scores from the penalty spot. So 3 0 to Kevin Tilly. So a bit of despondency in my voice as I'm uh, describing straight down the centre there, and a uh, good penalty, high in a centre position. Goal, three no, three pass. Now, three back through to Brown, who turns inside Blackburn. Lose ball gets it back and shoots. Oh, and a oh, great what save! A save. What 30 a save. yards out from Brown. Keeper off his line, but Nick Kelly backtracks, backpedals, and manages to pull off a good save, pan it over the crossbar. So, good move, good idea, but good save by Kelly. A brilliant save. And Dean Zamber in the corner for Longford Town towards Warfield. And it's Joe Gorman with Gorman, the header. Gorman with the header. Went right over uh, Warfield's head. And Joe Gorman, the centre half, gets the head to that ball and scores. And Mick Kelly just holding on to the ball. Longford trying to get a quick restart goal. And the referee really should be producing a yellow card there for the Cabo goalkeeper holding up the play. But Longford, they have a goal back. Can they finish with a late flurry? Good composed header from Joe Gorman. Yeah. Tries to play across and he does indeed, and it's knocked into a down the play. Just too high from Aaron McKay. 2 0 up at half time. And then the oh, good move by Longford Town Warfield from uh, the ball comes in from Elworthy. Aaron McKay gets a touch on the ball, and Warfield just couldn't quite finish the play. A e. Durbin, a e. Durbin switches back to Elworthy on the right as Mitchell Brown goes across to him. It's launched towards oh. Warfield. And Dylan Brown could be put for the cold game, which would be a massive boost. But the referee blows the full time whistle, full time score line here at Bishop's Gate. It's finished. Second place, Longford Town, or then no longer second place, will draw the win. Longford Town 1, Cabin Tealy, the lead lead is 3, and uh, very worthy of the three points, Kevin. Yeah, we've definitely seen genuine title contenders in action here tonight. Cabin Tealy, really impressive. Tip of the cap to them. They've deserved the three points. For Longford, they'll have to put in a big performance now and bounce back against Cove on Saturday. But there was positives in that second half for Longford, particularly the impact of the likes of Gorman, uh, McCabe and Warfield. They made a good impact off the bench, but um, Longford they have plenty of work to do. They will be very disappointed with the three goals they gave up tonight. They were all avoidable, but in the end, uh, here at Bishop's Gate, it's Longford Town 1, Cabin Tealy 3.